Let's get right into it. I get comments, messages, calls, and emails all the time asking for help on all kinds of things. But the one question that I get the most about is pricing. How should I price this? Or how should I price that? Uh, we just watched your video. What did you quote on that job? Or I'm just starting out. Should I lower my prices just to get in the door? And these are all great questions. And my answer is very simple. I don't know. The reason I don't know is because I don't know you, I don't know your business, I don't know your personal situation or your financial situation, and there are too many unknown variables that I don't know about your business or your market to give a definitive answer on how you need to price something. And because I don't know these things, it would be a huge disservice to suggest a cookie cutter per square foot price for your business. We are all in the exterior cleaning business, but all of our businesses are structured differently, and what works for me might not work for you. Take my pressure washing business, for example. I'm not in the field doing the work. I've never been in the field doing the work. For the past 20 years that I've been running this business, I've been in my office uh, handling the quotes, doing the sales, doing the marketing. I've been fixing things when needed, building stuff when needed, filling in for employees when needed. And with that being said, what I charge might be slightly different from what you should or need to charge. The key to knowing how to price is understanding the cost of running your business. I've made several videos on the things that impact how you should price something. And I hope you go back and watch some of those videos. There is a sales and marketing playlist link right above my head right now. So check that out. Take a look. Let me know what you think. While you're doing that, if you would, hit that subscribe button. Leave us a comment. Give us a thumbs up. I do appreciate you. So when thinking about your business uh, and how you're going to price things, especially with a service business, it can be very easy to undercut your value in fear of upsetting potential customers, losing them to the competition, or even worse, going out of business. I want to give you a brief look at some of the things you should consider when trying to figure out how to price your services. Number one is the cost of doing business. You need a clear understanding of your total cost of doing business, which includes lots of things. Uh, you need to make enough money to cover your overhead, so you need to know what your monthly expenses are. If you are making payments on a vehicle or you're making payments on your equipment, the cost of materials and supplies like bleach, gas, surfactants, all the consumables that we use like hoses, O-rings, uh, the fittings and guns and stuff that we use to get every job done. Your overhead also includes things like rent, insurance, website, QuickBooks, Responsibit if you have it, uh, anything that you're spending money on, and most importantly, payroll. How much are you going to pay yourself? Once you calculate all of that, determine how many hours you'd ideally like to work. Let's just say that you're actually going to be washing six hours a day, five days a week, which is about 120 hours per month. Now you divide your expenses by the number of hours that you expect to have your equipment producing revenue to produce your minimum hourly rate. I would also highly suggest adding a buffer or a cushion in there uh, for unknown variables like broken equipment, flat tires, broken down truck, busted hoses, whatever. We all know things like this happen. So if you come up with say $80 per hour as a minimum to cover your costs, I would add another $30 or so as a buffer for those unknown variables and then add your profit margin. You'll need to determine that on your own. Your market is going to impact that as is your equipment and your efficiency, which brings us to number two. Know what you and your equipment can do. If you're brand new to the pressure washing world, there is a bit of a learning curve. Sure, you can get out there, you can fire up that machine and you can spray some bleach and wash a house. But what you don't have right away is speed and efficiency and that comes with time and you will become more efficient, more skilled. You're gonna learn the tips and the tricks to make each job go faster and smoother. As you get more efficient and you're able to work faster, your per hour revenue is gonna increase because you'll be getting more jobs completed in a shorter amount of time, and that means more money. So learn your equipment, learn the chemicals. Basically, continually work and improve on your craft, and it's gonna benefit you. Number three, you need to know your market. I'm down in Savannah, Georgia, and our prices are likely lower than some of the folks that live up north. Maybe it's because they have a limited cleaning season and ours is 12 months long. Maybe things are just more expensive in other areas. So it's hard for me to tell people what to charge in other markets. Uh, when starting out, your pricing should be somewhere close to the average for your area, which means you need to do a little recon and figure out what other businesses in your market are up to. I would focus on the established businesses at first uh, with proven track records because they're successful and they're successful for a reason. So go out and see what they're up to. Uh, there's a reason for their success. 
Uh, there is no reason to enter a market and start slashing prices because it's gonna hurt everyone, including yourself. So do some research and you'll see the range of competitive pricing out there from the really cheap guys to the most expensive guys. And now that you know your cost and where the market is, you can set your prices to be competitive in your area. So that's really all I got for this one. I still didn't tell you how to price. I didn't tell you what to charge, but hopefully the things that we talked about will point you in the right direction. Uh, you need to remember that pricing is all about positioning. I hope you're not in the business of being the cheapest guy in the market. I hope you want to be seen as a professional business that offers high quality premium services. And if you want to position yourself as that type of business, you can't do it with cut rate pricing. Not only is that a non-sustainable business model, but it makes your business look bad because people draw conclusions about the value that they get based on the price that you charge. So know your costs, know your equipment, and know your market. And you're gonna learn and know how to price for your business. I really hope this helps. Have a great day.